NSU's Undergraduate Student Government Association held their presidential debate with two presidential candidates and one vice presidential candidate. USGA advisor Dean Wheeler expresses the importance for students to attend these events. So if you don't come out and hear who you're voting for, you're actually doing it blindly. And so you need to know what are their values, what are the traditions, what are the things that they want to see this university go into. And so if you don't have a direct correlation to that, you're actually putting people out there that you don't know if they're going to represent you well. So it's very important to be here to see what that looks like and what are their values and what do they want to do to change your university. Presidential candidate Annie shares what motivated her decision to run for USGA president. For me, um, the decision to run for president of student government, of the Undergraduate Student Government Association, really came with getting to realize the amount of connections that I've been able to make, the different organizations I've been a part of, and the amount of amazing opportunities and experiences just that I've had during my time here, um, while also getting to have conversations with people that have had the complete opposite experience, just not really had a great time here, not been able to connect or really have these different um, opportunities or just make these connections. And to be in a leadership position where I can help kind of bridge that gap and help people get the resources that they need, find the different resources, actually have access to these different organizations, and just overall have a good experience at NSU. Presidential candidate Daniel explains how he would represent the student body if he were to become president. So how I plan to represent it is making more known USGA because a lot of students when you go up to class they're like what is USGA? What does USGA actually do? And it's kind of concerning because I want to make it more involved where students have the opportunity to make LinkedIn posts, something a lot of schools have. They have different organizations to advertise, partner with different organizations on campus from clubs, activities, make USGA made more known. Vice Presidential Candidate Arun shares an idea he is passionate about that he plans to implement once named Vice President. So one thing I want to implement is working with uh, my partner in crime, current president, um, gave an amazing idea for how we can engage our students more on campus and that would be maybe concerts, comedy shows, and et cetera, just ways that we can engage, especially the freshmen coming in from far from home perhaps or international students, how do we engage them and just get them more proactive on campus. Current USGA president, Manas Pettiboyina, expresses what he hopes the candidates take away from this experience. Win, lose, or draw, I do want to emphasize, like I said, like, you want to make sure you give it your all. Give it your all. Don't have any regrets. Don't go into it 10 years from now and be like, oh, wow, I wish I actually cared a little bit more about this. Put everything you got, and if it doesn't happen, then it wasn't meant to be, you know? Uh, that's kind of how I thought during my election is I'm going to give it my all. If it doesn't happen, it wasn't meant to be, and I'm going to move on. That's all. Voting opens March 18th at noon and closes on March 29th at noon. I'm Madison Casper with Mako TV.